Hi, I'm Taylor with AWS. In today's session, you'll learn how to get started with Amazon EC2 Systems Manager. Systems Manager is a collection of capabilities that simplify management of your Linux and Windows instances, regardless of whether they're running in EC2 or on-premises. Systems Manager allows you to perform tasks such as collecting system inventory, applying operating system patches, automating the creation of Amazon machine images, and configuring operating systems and applications at scale. The goal of this video is to get you up and running so that by the end, you'll be able to use Systems Manager across your fleet. There are three core prerequisites for using Systems Manager. The first, Systems Manager IAM roles. To use Systems Manager, you'll need to set up two roles. One role authorizes users to use Systems Manager. The other authorizes an instance to be managed by Systems Manager. The next prerequisite is SSM agent. This is the on instance agent that communicates with the systems manager service and must be installed on both EC2 instances and on premises servers. The final prerequisite, internet access. EC2 instances require outbound internet access. Inbound internet access is not required. Let's get started by setting up systems manager user and instance roles using AWS identity and access management. So we're here in the EC2. So we're here in the AWS console, and I'm going to go into IAM here. And my first step will be to set up a user with a role that will provide her with access to Systems Manager. And for this, I'm going to use a managed policy. So I'm going to go into users here, and I can see I have several users here. And here I'd like to set up Sally with access to Systems Manager. So I'm going to click on Sally, and then I'm going to click Add Permissions. And I'm going to attach an existing policy directly in this case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for SSM. SSM is another name for Systems Manager and is also the name of the namespace for those of you that are CLI users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the role Amazon SSM Full Access. And I'm going to click on the checkbox. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click Next Review. And I'm going to add permissions. So at this point, we've provided Sally with access to Systems Manager by using the Manage Policy Amazon SSM Full Access. An alternate method to provide Sally with access to Systems Manager would to attach this same policy to a group that Sally already belongs to. Now that we've set up a user with the SSM user role, Let's create an instance profile to enable systems manager management of the instance. So in IAM, we're going to navigate to roles, and then we're going to choose create a new role. And we're going to call this my manage instance role for SSM. Then I'm going to click next step, and then I'm going to click Amazon EC2. I'm going to actually make the selection there. And then, right at the top of the list here, I'm going to select another managed policy called Amazon EC2 role for SSM. I'm going to click Next Step. And then I'm going to create that role. So we just showed you how to set up IAM roles for use with Systems Manager. In the next video, we'll take what you learned here and show you how to activate your instances for use with Systems Manager. Thanks for watching.